Hello and welcome to Campus 2 Community, the Columbia Basin College news magazine to keep you informed of what's happening at CBC and how we might better serve you. Today we're going to learn about the brand new CBC Alumni Association and how it may benefit you and we'll be speaking with Director Cody Spanner. We're also going to hear about sustainability efforts at CBC going green with biology professor Christy Henscheid and ASB student John Myers. But first we're going to talk to our National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development winners for 2011-2012. That's NYSOD and uh, the honorees will be honored in Austin, Texas at the end of May at the convention and that's our business professor Tammy Wen and our psychology professor Kaylin Stevens. Ladies, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Tammy, first of all, uh, tell us how you got into teaching and into teaching college accounting and business. Well, my degrees are in business. I have a finance and uh, accounting degree and I've always worked in those areas, um, public accounting, oil and gas accounting, retail. And uh, when we moved to the Tri-Cities, I remembered how much fun it was when I was teaching in graduate school. So I applied for adjunct and they had a full-time opening and I jumped in and decided to change careers then and it's been a blast. It's been a blast. What are some of the more um, rewarding experiences that you've come across in your years of teaching? You know, every day there's something that happens that makes you glad you're doing it. But, you know, when a student finally gets something and they've been really struggling and working hard, it, you just feel good. Uh, when my students call me up and let me know that they just got their, they got a job they wanted, or, um, Last summer, a student sent me a copy of his uh, university diploma, letting me know mm. that he had gone on just like I threatened some of them might and gotten an accounting degree. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations on your award. Kaylin, uh, tell us how you became a psychology professor. Well, it was kind of by accident, really. I was in graduate school and I was doing a neuropsychology research track, and I ended up getting kind of an interim position at uh, a community college and I just fell in love with the, uh, the mission of a community college and the diversity of the students and so I knew immediately that this was going to be for me and so I started teaching and that was 16 years ago and I, I love it every day. Fantastic. Um, a lot of people might wonder uh, why it's so important for college students to take psychology. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good question, and my students and I were just talking about that today, as a matter of fact, at the beginning of the quarter. You know, it's a, it's a question that, that they ask. And so psychology is a way of knowing about the world. It's certainly not the only way of knowing, but it utilizes the empirical methods of the scientific methodology. And so everybody is an, is an expert in their own experience. But if we're asking the question of, in general, what makes people tick? Why do we do what we do, think what we think, feel what we feel? we really have to use the methodology of science. And so by students having some exposure to that, it gives them some critical thinking skills. They can uh, use those when making decisions about a variety of things, whether it's to buy a particular weight loss drug or to ask for the double-blind placebo-controlled data to demonstrate what, what they should do if they're trying to you know, make a consumer-based decision. So it's everything from some students who are interested in majoring in psychology and who may become cognitive psychologists down to students who are going into business. And there's something for everyone in, in psychology. How is it not interesting? Fantastic. <laughs> and congratulations to you, Kaylin and Tammy. Thank you. And uh, uh, we're going to be coming right back and talking about sustainability, going green at CBC, how it's saving taxpayers money, and beautifying the college right after this.
Sustainability, going green. What is it and why is it so important? Well, it's been going on for a number of years now at Columbia Basin College. And with us now are two people at different ends of the spectrum, I guess you could say. One is a biology professor, Christy Henscheid, and the other a student at Columbia Basin College, John Myers. Welcome to both of you to the show. Thanks. Thank you. John, let's start with you first. And, and uh, what have you learned and how have you got involved in the going green efforts at CBC? Well, I work with the uh, SAB officers in the ASCBC. That's the Student and Activity Board. Um, we work for the success of students and engagement. Uh, we try to uh, focus a lot of what we do um, around sustainability, have it uh, correlate with a lot of, a lot of what we do, um, whether it be not using plastic water bottles and using cups and water, uh, water mm -hmm. fountains or buckets, and uh, you know, trying to make conscient conscientious decisions. And how are your efforts uh being received by the other students? Uh, fairly well, I'd say. Uh, it depends. If we're out there uh, making an effort to get people involved, it goes rather well. But if we uh, put it on the student to get involved, not so much. I think we need to strive for that more, get them involved. Fantastic. And Christy, maybe you can tell us a little bit about college-wide what CPC is doing in the area of sustainability. Oh, there's so much that we've been working on. Um, things that help the environment as well as uh, save money for the college. For example, we've been replacing all of our lighting systems both in the parking lots as well as in the classrooms and offices. So everything's on motion sensors now so it turns off when you're not there. Um, soon we'll be replacing our reader board on 20th Avenue with a new LCD board. That's going to save us at least $1,400 a month just in electricity. Wow. Um, we have, of course, carpool parking spaces on campus now as well as uh, free bus passes for students, which saves you not only time looking for a parking spot, but also fuel money, um, and is, of course, helpful for the environment. Fantastic. And um, what do you see for the future? Are there future projects uh, online at CBC? Oh, definitely. Most of our, uh, the last two buildings that we've built on CBC, the business building as well as the uh, career and technology uh, building, were built with uh, very green principles, and, and we're right up there with the um, engineering design, you know, top-notch levels for, for sustainability, and we're definitely doing that in the future. Um, more short-term, we're, of course, this month uh, being kind of Earth Month, um, the Washington State Arbor Day is on April 11th, and we'll be planting a couple of trees on campus. We're actually the only community campus in the state that's a Tree Campus USA certified by the Arbor Day Foundation. Wow. And then later on in the month of the Cubs, of course, Earth Day, and, and the students are helping us out with that as well as with um, the, the tree planting activities. Wow. Well, thanks to both of you and for your efforts in uh, going green at CBC. Thanks for having us. Coming up, we're going to be uh, talking about the new Alumni Association at CBC and how it can have direct benefits for you. Stay tuned.
There's a new alumni association at Columbia Basin College called Alumni Students and Friends Association. And with us now is the director of the new alumni association, Cody Spanner. Cody, welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about this new association. Well, the foundation at CBC really wants to build a strong, lasting alumni program. And we believe that the best way to do that is by offering services and benefits to the students as well as friends of the college or past students to help them succeed. And as far as uh, when you talk about alumni, it's not just graduates of CBC. Exactly, and I'm glad you brought that up because many people feel that an alumni, you have a graduating degree from a college, and that isn't necessarily the case. We uh, want to include everyone that is a current student, has perhaps had a class at CBC before, or even is a partner with the college or a friend to the college in some way. So everyone's included. So tell us a little bit about some of the services you're offering. One of the cornerstone services that we're gonna be offering is a career services. And universities around the United States have pulled their alumni and they asked, what would you like to see? And the number one ranked thing was career services. So we've partnered together with Career Beam, which is the I would say best in the nation as far as offering a complete career package all the way from assessments and figuring out your personality, what you like to do, all the way through offering over um, millions of current job postings online. So we think that's going to help. So uh, then what about the benefits, I, I guess, for people, whether they're alumni or whether uh, not looking for a job but are in a career that they like, but there's still benefits to those people from the suit? Exactly. We'll be having other benefits and services, and a couple of those are the, um, one of them is that we're partnering with local merchants and vendors, and so that means that we would be getting discounts offering to our alumni programs for like, restaurant discounts, shopping at Yolks Fresh Market, make Twigs Restaurant. We're real proud of the list of discounts that we're having, and that'll be growing all the time. So far, we have 30 businesses that are cooperating, and we hope to have that grow. Another program that we have is with national companies, and that will be like Land's End or getting Broadway discount tickets, Disneyland tickets. We think that it's going to offer something for everyone. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to it. And uh, you can see on your screen uh, the contact information to go on the CBC website and learn more about it. Cody, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Frank. And that's the Campus to Community Report for today.